Hey kids, it's Tool Tuesday, and today I want to walk you through a utility knife, because I think every toolbox should have a utility knife. Uh, and I'm just going to show you the one that I recommend and the one I don't recommend. But first, I have a dad joke for you. So, you know, it's actually a series of dad jokes. Hopefully you won't groan too much. <laughs> you know, I tried to join a knife club, but I didn't make the cut. They said I wasn't sharp enough. And sometimes I can be blunt. Ah, so anyway, let's get started. All right, so this is uh, the one I don't recommend. It's very similar to one that I had, my very first utility knife. And the way, the, the way it works is you just push down on this and you slide it in and out, right, like that. That's how it works. It's all fine and dandy until you need to change the blade, okay? So when you go to change the blade, you actually have to take it apart. So you have to, there's a, a screw right there that you have to take apart and it's just it's more complicated than it needs to be so it works well but changing the blades are, are more difficult and I think there's just better options now also what I want to show you too is this is actually a uh, it has a whole bunch of blades in it spare blades and then what you do is when you when you use your blade you put it in the top and I can show you right there it says it actually shows a picture of a garbage can to show you that you put the used blades in the top and then the bottom ones uh, are the new blades that just slide out right and so that's so you use those when you when you replace your blades and then there's also these this particular dispenser too it's just spring loaded let's see and you just slide it out like that right okay so that's those because when you go to dispose of your blades be very very careful um, i've heard where people I've used water bottles and they'll put, cut a slit in it and then dispose of them that way, put them inside there and just, you know, and then once they, you gather quite a few, then you dispose of it. And then also, um, one way I've done it before when I didn't have these is you take a piece of cardboard and you stick the blade in and just fold it over and then tape it up good and then dispose of it that way because you don't want to just throw these directly in the garbage because that's, you know, safety problems there. So. All right, so I actually have um, several different styles, but they're all basically the same. And these are the kind that I recommend um, just for your standard toolbox. You know, if you're getting into cutting out carpet or stuff, there's special knives for that. Um, this, these will actually work for cutting carpet, but if you're really getting into a lot of carpeting, there's a specific carpet knife. So I'm just talking about a basic utility knife that everybody should have in their, in their toolbox. So, and I would recommend that you get one that's... Uh, a, a bright color because the uh, you know a black one will tend to blend in with other stuff and you can't see it and oh, where is my knife and so that's why i have so many <laughs> knives because i couldn't find my knife and then it turns up and i've already bought you know a red one and a blue one and a, a silver one so um, but each one actually uh, opens up in uh, a little bit different well they don't necessarily open up a little bit different they all kind of open the same way they open like that and then they lock in and i'll walk through each one just to show you uh how each one opens because they're each just a little bit different. So this is the one that I was talking about in order to replace the blade, you actually have to unscrew it here. Okay. And then you take it apart like this. Let's see here. It comes out like that. Okay, and then you got some spare blades in the back and then you got this and then this this piece here can get offline right here that's the that's the button there that's going to slide in and out and get offline just much easier to use these other kinds so i'll walk you through those so i'm just going to put set this aside all right so the way this one works is you just open it up like that and then you need to pull back on this this particular level right here you pull back on it okay so we're going to pull back and then he opens up like that. And then if we want to swap the blade out, we just pull the blade out, put in a new blade like that. Make sure those are lined up and then you close it back up and you're good to go. And then to close this, you just push this button here, close it like that. Okay. That's that one. This one. Okay. It's going to open up like this. And what you got to do is you push down on this, on this button, you push down on it. Okay, push down on that and it opens that up. See that? And it allows you to slide the blade out. Okay, now we're gonna slide the, the blade back in. 
like that. Okay, and just make sure it's set in there. It locked in, you're good to go. And then you push this button here to close it back up. All right, that's that one. The black one works actually similar. It's a similar brand to the silver one, okay? So it's basically the same thing. You're gonna open it up like that. We're not gonna go through that because it's the same thing. And then this one, this blue one, works like this. You just open it up and then it's got this little lever here. Instead of that button like on the red one, it's got this little lever. You just push on that and then this slides out and slides in. Okay, there you go. All right, so um, hopefully you understand. Yeah, you're not get, don't want to make it too complicated, but these are the these are the way to go. This type of knife, it's just so easy to change the blade, makes it way easier on yourself. Uh, yeah, and then if you need to swap, you know, you pull. Each blade has two sides, right? So you can use both sides before you have to replace it. You just take it and flip it around, and then um, put it right back in, and you're good to go for, until that one gets bad. And then when both sides have been used. Then you just put it in your handy container and then uh, dispose of it that way and replace it with a new one. So, all right. So I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and God bless you.